Hello everybody, I'm Maya from 8680 Crack and Pinion, and today we're gonna be testing how um, the artifacts hit the goal over here, and what we're gonna be seeing is how it's gonna go through the gate and onto the classifier. We're gonna see what happens, wh how different positions work, and things like that. Um, I have two of our other team, team members here with me, um, Anya and Akshay, and they're gonna be helping see how this all works. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, plantier gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com slash robots to learn more and apply for discounts. Animark is your one-stop shop for all things FTC. Teams who are looking for inspiration in Decode can check out Animark's Robits Core Kit and FTC Starter Bot, which are designed with usability and accessibility in mind. And check out some of their new components suitable for any FTC robot. Head on over to Animark.com to find solutions that fit your team. First, we're gonna try and hit hitting it to this side, and we're gonna see how it falls and how it's gonna go through that gate. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but what we're looking at right here, if you hit it with enough speed and force, and it rolls straight through onto this ramp and then through that gate over here, regardless of if you have a ninth one, it will skip right over. So just remember that if you hit it really, really hard, it's going to go through and then skip over. Um, and then this time, Anya, do you want to try hitting it in the middle right here. So basically, what's happening right now is when she hits it right here, sometimes it's gonna bounce back and then go through the slant inside the goal. So when it goes through the slant inside the goal, the ball slows down and that's when it doesn't skip. But if you hit it hard enough right here, we're gonna try and test that out right now. If you hit it hard enough right here and it drops right down, we're gonna see whether it skips or not. So Anya, can you try hitting hard and make sure it goes like right down? Not that hard. <laughs> not that hard. <laughs> Do you want to try, I want you to try getting it down right here and then. Almost. Okay, so basically moral of the story in this scenario is that if you hit it and it bounces onto that slant over there, you won't skip, it won't skip if you guys have, if you're adding a ninth um, artifact in. But if you hit it, we tried it earlier, if you hit it and it goes right onto this ramp, it will skip over. So now what we're gonna do, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try hitting multiple balls into that area and see how that fits into the gate. Do you want me to? Okay. So now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and um, toss the ball, the artifacts into the goal in the order that they have it on this code right here. So let's try, do you want, you want to do green and then two purple. We're gonna see if it actually lands in that order. Try and do it like one after the other. Okay. So just we're just gonna keep trying that sequence to see how well that goes. So as you can see right here, um, it skipped over and that ruined um, the sequence right here. So. Right now, so basically when you guys are putting the artifacts in, you really wanna be careful because what happened, it hit here, it slammed down, and that ninth 
skipped right over. So when Anya threw in the green ball, that messed up the sequence because it landed as green, purple, green. So this time what we're gonna try and do is we're kind of gonna try and do that as a sequence, but we're gonna have two people throwing it in at once to see, to try and imitate what would happen if both alliances are trying to get that sequence in. Okay, so this one actually worked out where they threw it at just the right speed that it landed in that green, purple, purple. So this time we're gonna try and slow it down because they threw it pretty fast. But as we all know, when you're actually trying to do it with your robot, it might go a little slower or some things might happen. So. Okay. So try and go like, just a little bit slower. Okay, so what happens sometimes when you're throwing two balls or multiple ball, multiple artifacts at once into this goal, um, based on, because we have this board right here, if it hits it at different angles. So what happened here was um, Anya hit the green ball first and it went straight through like that. But when Akshay also threw that same green ball and then Anya threw a purple ball, Anya threw it at an angle where it hit this angle, this area first. So that's what came down first instead of that green one coming down. So this is why like I think in my opinion, we just you just want to be really careful when it comes to throwing them in, especially because you're working against the time. So you also need to be mindful of where you're hitting it in. And I think a big part of this season is going to be making sure that you guys were that you're throwing it in in the in like the area. I really think it would be best to try and aim right for this, other than when you're going for that ninth artifact, because as we saw before, with that ninth artifact, if you hit it straight down, it will skip over. Um, both teams are not going to be able to go for a um, motif matching the obelisk, obelisk's pattern at the same time. As we just saw, if we were both, since we were both trying to aim for a pattern and neither of us got it, it would be more, um, it would be helpful for only one team to aim for a pattern and maybe let the other team know so the other team can either cycle the artifacts while the other team is aiming for the goal either or. It all comes down to communication with the alliances because we know how it works out that if both aim for a pattern, one or neither are going to get it. So obviously you can see we're aiming from pretty far back so robots might come up here. Based on that, a lot of things can change, but just remember to stay tuned um, into this Robot in 30 Hours for more content, either regarding robots or the field. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark is your one-stop shop for all things FTC. Teams who are looking for inspiration in Decode can check out Animark's Robits Core Kit and FTC Starter Bot, which are designed with usability and accessibility in mind. And check out some of their new components suitable for any FTC robot. Head on over to Animark.com to find solutions that fit your team. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, plantier gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts.